What's up everyone? We're here in Indianapolis for US Masters Nationals this weekend and we're going to be going over some uh, tips for meat warm down which we think are really going to help you guys at the meet. You know a lot of people put a lot of time into their preparation for the meet but then they get here they swim their race and they forget the importance of warm down. So warm down is crucial for your success throughout a meet. You know every time you swim a race lactic acid builds up on your blood and that's why warm down is so important. It's to clear that out and to be, get you ready for an X race so that you don't fatigue earlier than you should. So we like looking at the warm down in a four step series. Okay, so step one, you're just gonna get out of your race, jump into the water, and do a long swim. So step two, you're going to be doing a couple of 50s at an aerobic pace. So step three is actually the most important one. This is where, where you're going to be trying to get your heart rate up again by doing a couple of sprints. And the way I like to do this is by splitting 50s into thirds and then sprinting the first half and then maybe sprinting the last half. You, do, you can do anywhere from two to four 50s like that way. So step four, now you're gonna get back in and just do a 200 warm down. And you're done and that's gonna flush out all the lactic acid out of your body. So this is one of the many scenarios where the edge is actually really helpful. You know, for the warm down, what we really wanna pay attention to is our heart rate. And with the edge, we're gonna be able to see and feel the heart rate coming down. So again, this is what I personally like to do. You can do several variations of this, but I would like to add that, you know, I learned this from, you know, swimming at the University of Florida with several Olympians. So there's some credibility to this method. And then again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We really appreciate you guys' support. Remember to subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.